Darren Alf here from Bicycle Turn Pro. So a couple days ago I got an email from a guy named Colin through the Warm Showers website. Warm Showers is kind of like a, a free hosting platform for bicycle travelers. So you're traveling by bike, you contact people on this list and they give you free places to stay. So I got contacted by this guy named Colin a few days ago who says he's coming through Park City, Utah where I live right now and he wants a free place to stay. So this is actually the first time I have ever hosted anyone from the warm showers list in 20 years probably. I have however stayed at probably a hundred people's homes all around the world through the warm showers list over the years. So I have a pretty good idea of what the hosting experience is like and because I've been hosted by so many different people all around the world, I kind of know what a good hosting experience is like and what a bad one is like as well. So in today's video, I'm going to clean up my property, prepare for my first ever warm showers guest, and I'm gonna give you some tips that you can use to become the best warm showers host ever. First thing I need to do is clean up my home because um, it's been a couple days since I've cleaned. I got things all over the place. So first step is clean your house. So I finished cleaning my place and my warm showers guest is about to arrive. I just want to point out a few little things that I've done in preparation for his arrival because like I said, I've stayed with hundreds of people on the warm showers list and as a professional bicycle traveler, I know that one of the first things I want to do when I arrive at a place is make sure that I have a safe place to put my bike. So here we are in my garage and I have my own little storage unit here which I have all of my bikes hanging in here, but basically I'm just gonna offer up this space here in the middle so that my guest Colin has a place to put his bicycle. So we'll put our, his bike in there first and then we'll go upstairs. So I don't know about you, but the next thing that I want after I've finished a long bike ride is a cold glass of water or some kind of drink. I'm always thirsty. So I've made sure that my fridge is fully stocked I got uh, almond milk, water, orange juice. I've got a whole bunch of like sparkling waters. I've got fresh watermelon in here if you want it, root beer, and a whole bunch more. So you always want to offer your guests first thing is water. After you've put your bike away and you've gotten something to drink, the next thing you want is a shower. You're gonna be like hot, sweaty, and smelly probably. And the last thing you want to do is arrive at someone's house and like be self-conscious of how you look or smell. So um, I've prepared my shower. Um, I put some stuff in there that he can use if he wants to, if he needs it. There's a bathroom here, obviously. And then I've gone and purchased some brand new towels that I'm just gonna have as guest towels. You don't need to purchase new ones, obviously, but I have in this particular instance because this is my first warm showers host. So shower will be the third thing that he tackles once he gets here. After the shower, he may want to wash his clothes. So in here is my washing machine and it's in my walk-in closet here. This is the washer right here. So I'm definitely gonna offer that up. Not everybody offers to wash your clothes when you stay at a warm showers place, but it is something that I know that I want a lot of the times when I'm traveling by bike is the opportunity to wash my clothes. So here's the washer. I got a whole bunch of soap and everything, towels, whatever he needs is right here to wash his clothes. Then you need a place to stay after you've become comfortable in the property. And I only have a one bedroom apartment, so I am going to offer my guest, Colin, my bedroom. And so I've put brand new sheets on this bed, a new bedspread, um, I washed everything. There's an extra towel over there in the corner. He's got a little couch here. There's a book that I put in here about Park City, history of Park City. Um, there's a TV that you can watch, a desk that you can work at, and a view out the window. So this is the place that I'm going to offer him to stay and it's, it's kind of attached to the bathroom here. And then I'm just going to stay here 
in the living room space and I'll just like sleep on the couch or on the floor or something like that. So it's not a, not a problem for me. And then I can stay up late at night and work in my kitchen or over there on the table or whatever. So this is kind of the space that I'm providing him, but I am giving him that back bedroom just so he has some privacy. It's kind of weird to like come to someone's home and then have no privacy whatsoever. So I'm just going to give him that back room. He can lock the door and that whole bedroom and bathroom is totally his. Now, the other thing you might want to offer your warm showers guest is some kind of food or a meal. Um, it definitely makes sense because he's arriving today at like 6 p.m. And so it would make sense that like we eat a meal when he gets here. Um, the good side to that is like, hey, free meal. The downside to that is I know for me, I'm a vegetarian and like a near vegan. So sometimes I arrive at people's home and they've prepared a meal that I can't eat. And I feel really bad about that. So in this particular instance, I have prepared no food whatsoever. I got some food in the fridge or whatever that he can snack on if he wants it. But as far as a meal goes, I'm just gonna offer that we go out to eat somewhere. We pick up a meal and bring it back here or eat at the restaurant. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, he can pay for his meal, I'll pay for mine. And we're both very happy. There he is. <laughs> How are you? I'll come down and meet you. I'm making a video about you. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll be right down. Cool. Hey, come on in. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can put your bike in this cool. if you want, or yeah. uh, it's kind of hard for you to take it off. No, there's not that much. How far did you go today? Uh, 67 miles today. Oh, that's pretty far. Uh, 4,375 feet of climbing. And I hit 55 miles an hour. <laughs> hey, that's fast. Yeah, that's okay. That's cool. Yeah. What kind of bike is this? Specialized? Yeah, specialized for Diverge. What is it? It's the Diverge. Diverge. The, the gravel bike? Yeah. The bike that I had, and I decided to go do this. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Not the bike that I would have uh, chosen on its own, probably. Yeah, that's but, all right, uh, though. But I sold that bike because I needed space in my apartment during the pandemic. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, oh, and you have like a, a emergency thing here. Yeah, yeah. So that's how much I should probably take off so I can charge it up. That's cool. Yeah, I got the. Norman, which is going to complain to me that uh, I can't see the sun. Is that what you texted me from? or? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So this I can just talk to it on the phone and you can just type in there or whatever. And so it doesn't matter where you are, this will work. That's awesome. I think that's everything on there. If you need to come back down, it's not a problem. Yeah, let's see what we can do one trip. <laughs> There's, there's always something else you yeah, need. Something. What is this thing down here? Is that just like an emergency? That's uh, tools. Yeah, which tools. I need okay. To deal with in the morning because I need a new break. Yeah. But uh, that's it. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, you can just. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what you're doing. <laughs> so this is yours. Okay. And then the shower and the, I only have like a one bedroom, one bath place. So like okay. I may, I'll have to come in here and use Whatever. the bathroom, but everything you need, these towels are for you. Okay. I don't That's know. Great. Shower, toilet, you know. Warm shower is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Want some water? Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> or something else, yeah, no, like, I got these, like, I don't know what they're called, sparkling drinks. I'll try it, yeah. Yeah. Watermelon. It's okay. cold, at least, yeah, and I have watermelon, too, actually. Okay. Do you, do you like watermelon? Yeah. 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 People who don't like watermelon do exist. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> it's good, though. There aren't many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Here I am in my city clothes. 
normally uh, I smell and, <laughs> and I look pretty weird and I'm covered in salt and now I'm clean. Yeah. For the moment. <laughs> Just kidding us. I'm yeah. too tall. <laughs> hey, is it that you're too tall or I'm too short? Yeah. Both. <laughs> Showing you the secret Banksy photo oh. that's back here. Oh, cool. Yeah, but because it's off of Main Street, like hardly anyone knows it's there. It's cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll get your picture. I got an apartment in the middle of the pandemic, in the middle of winter, so I got a great deal. And I gave it up to take this trip. <laughs> and then what do I hear on the news on the way in here to town today? Rents have gone up 20%. All time and, high or yeah, something. <laughs> exactly, New York has finally resuppressed San Francisco. Dang. So. Now I'm getting my post-workout workout. Yeah, really. <laughs> At least I didn't take you on a bike ride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like... I feel oh, like... wow. Now the mining check is a garage. Yeah. My house is over there somewhere. Down there. This is Giving them the drive-in tour of Deer Valley. Yeah, I'm having the luxury of... Uh... <laughs> oh man. That's what it feels like when it feels like a Yeah. Or where I Here we are. That was quite a hike, huh? Yeah, it was great. Yeah. I really need the extra few hundred feet today. <laughs> <laughs> but look at the view, look at the view. Oh, the view is great. The view is great. So we got up here, we're eating our dinner at the PC sign, Park City sign, up on this hill, overlooking the city. I just wanted to take them up here because the view is so nice, especially at sunset. It's a good tour. <laughs> So this has been a brief look into what it's like to host somebody from the warm showers list. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to learn more about Colin's cross-country bike ride, make sure you're subscribed to the Bicycle Touring Pro channel because in my next video, which I will be releasing next week, I will be interviewing Colin about his trip and asking him about some of the best and worst experiences he's had on the road, lessons he's learned along the way, and a whole lot more. So make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Darren Alf from BicycleTrainPro.com and I hope to see you out on the road sometime soon. Bye bye.